Hi, I'm Carly McAvoy, and today I'm talking about percentages, and I'm using resistors as an example. <clears throat> Some of you um, may have been working with the resistors for years and understand the color coding or knew about the color coding. It's new for me, so I'm really excited to talk about this um, this uh, concept. So um, we're going to show. I'm going to get to the percentage part of it, but let's first just take a look. If you if the colors aren't coming clear on the video. Um, this, there's four strips on a resistor, and, it, and again, this may be something that you already know and are ahead of me on. The first one tells you the first digit in your number when you're trying to talk about what's the resistance of this resistor. And so um, the color of the first band, if it's black, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are the, num the colors that go with those numbers. And the second band also is just a number. And the third is a multiplier, so it's multiplied by some power of 10. This is 10 to the 0 power, 1st power, 2nd power, 3rd power, 4th power, 5th power, 6th power, 7th power. Or you could have something that's multiplied times 10 to the negative 1 power. So these are also powers of 10, and we don't have to worry about that too much, but that's what that is. And the last column is talking about the tolerance. Now, tolerance we might not, you might not have talked about before, but if they're saying it may not be exact, we're going to allow a little bit of error. We can allow 20% error, 1% error, 2% error, 0.5% error, 0.25% error, error, and so forth. And it's plus or minus. So we're going to look at a resistor and determine what its resistance is, and then also figure out what's the tolerance when they tell us you can have a 20% error, plus or minus. Okay, so this picture, if you can't um, read these colors, see, under, see these colors, they're written at the bottom um, because I couldn't really tell what they were either, but the first color is brown. So brown, black, orange, and, and then golden. So this is our first number, our second number, this one here tells us how many zeros or powers of 10 we're going to multiply by. And this tells us what our tolerance is or the percentage of, of error that we're okay with. Okay, so brown is our first and then black. Let's remember that. Let's go up here and take a look at our chart. Brown means that we have a 1 and black means that we have a 0. So um, determine the first digit, that's 1. And the second digit, that's a zero, because that was brown black. The third part is orange, and the orange tells us how many zeros to add to that. So for this one, for orange, we're going to add one, two, three more zeros. So one, two, three, and that gives our resistance in ohms. Oh, that was a terrible drawing. Anyway, um, we have 10,000 ohms is our resistance. Okay, now we're going to determine the tolerance by that last one, which is golden. And up here in the gold, we can see that means a 5% plus or minus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change 5% into a decimal. Remember, we moved that two places to the left, so it's 0 0.05. Now I'm going to take 10,000, and I'm going to multiply that times 0 0.05. And that's going to tell me... Um, how much I can be off in either direction. I don't need to do anything here when, I, when I, I can do it on the calculator, but I know when I multiply by 10,000, I just moved the decimal point four places. So I'm going to do that one, two, and then two more means that I can be off by as much as 500 ohms. Okay, so now I would say that's the tolerance is 500. And then I'm going to find the upper limit. The upper limit is 10,000 plus 500, or 10,500. And the lower limit is going to be 10,000 minus 500, which is 9,500. So I basically want 10,000, but I would take anything uh, 500 above or below that. And so my range, or the tolerance interval, is the difference of these two. 10,500 minus 9,500, which is 1,000. And that is our interval. 
All right, so we can be plus or minus 500 off, I should say that, right? When I put the plus or minus there up here, it just means we could be 500 high or 500 low. So we can find the upper and the lower, and then we can find that interval by subtracting to say, well, we have a range of 1,000. We could be 1,000 below, I mean, we could be 500 below or 500 above, which gives us a range of 1,000. Okay. So I want you to try these. It'd be great for you to try them on your own, but if you don't want to do it on your own, you can watch me. If you want to try it on your own, um, you can go off video and try this. So it's kind of a use, a percent use that you can see. Um, it's a different kind of way to do it, but um, okay. So we have this chart. We have orange as our first number, which is a three. Then blue which is a six. So we have three, six. And then we have brown, and brown is our multiplier. So we're just multiplying by 10 here. So 360 ohms. Now the tolerance is the fourth line, and our fourth one was silver. And silver is plus or minus 10%. So to find the tolerance, I'm going to take 360 and multiply, well, 10%, what does that look like as a decimal? We have 10%, we're going to drop the percent symbol, where's our decimal? It's right there. And we're going to move it 2 to the left, so we're going to multiply that times 0.1 to figure out our tolerance. We can go up or down from there, right? Again, you don't have to do that on a calculator, but you can if you want. Um, it's going to be 36. When you multiply by a decimal point, you just move it over once. So we're going to allow plus or minus 36 ohms uh, as we kind of can make a mistake in either way. So what's our upper limit? Well, it's 360 plus 36. Our lower limit is 360 minus 36. So I have 396. And... Yes, my brain is just kind of fried today. And then this, and then our tolerance interval is 396, that's our upper limit, minus 324, that's our lower limit, which is 72. So that's our interval, we have 72 as our interval of the mistake that could be made, 36 below or 36 above, right? Okay, all right, let's look at the next one, gray, orange, yellow, and black. Again, try it on your own, but what is gray and then yellow? Well, gray is eight and yellow is four. Whoops, this is gray, orange, sorry, orange is three. I read it out of order. Gray, orange, so gray is eight orange is three. Yellow is our third beam, which tells us what our multiplier is. And it looks like we have one, two, three, four zeros that we're going to add on to the end of that. One, two, three, four. So our resistance is 830,000 ohms. So what's the tolerance going to be? Well, we have black. And for our chart here, actually, I had to write in 20% because the chart that was online did not show black as having any tolerance associated with it. But in the textbook from Math 101, it does, so I went with that. Anyway, 20% tolerance seems like a really high tolerance to me. Like, who would ever do that? But anyways, maybe they would. That's off by a lot. Anyway, our tolerance is going to be 83,000 times the tolerance 20%. Well, 20% is this, and if we go 2 to the left, we have 0 0.2, right? So let's do that. 830 times 0 0.2 is uh, 166, 166,000. Our upper limit then is 830,000 plus 166,000, which is 996. And our lower limit is 830,000 minus 166. And if I subtract 830 
minus 166, I get 664,000. And our interval then would be 996 minus 664. which is 332,000. Okay, that seems like a pretty high tolerance interval. I don't know if we need to do all of these. I was going to work through them, but it seems like after two, you're probably pretty much like you get it. Um, you can stop the video here if you do. If you don't, we can go through another one. Um, violet and then black. Violet is yellow, black is zero. Black violet is seven, black is zero. So seven, zero. And then we have black again, and the black multiplier is just multiplying by one, so it's just 70. Yeah, that's better, huh? 70 ohms. Oh, it says up here already we mean this to be in ohms. And our tolerance is gold, which is the 5%. 5% is 0 0.05. So um, we have 70 times 0 0.05. Should be 35, but I'm just point, yeah, 3.5. Okay. Anyways, um, 0 0.05 is 3.5. It's plus or minus 3.5. And so our upper limit is um, 70 plus 3.5 which is 73.5, and our lower limit is 70 minus 3.5, which is 66.5, and our tolerance interval is the higher tolerance minus the lower tolerance, and that tells us the kind of the interval that we will accept our answers. Um, which is 7. Duh, it's twice that. It's always twice this. If you look at 166 doubled, you get 332. If you look at 36 doubled, you get 72. 3.5 doubled, you get 7. But it's kind of who, what, who wants to give that away early on, right? Okay, so um, one more then for those of you that are still with me. White and orange. White is 9, orange is 3. So I have 93. Silver is... Multiplying by 0.01. Well, that's a little different, isn't it? Because if I take 93 times 0 0.01, it actually moves that over to be 0.93. You can do that on a calculator if you want. Um, but those powers of 10 are easy to work with. So that's my resistance. Now my tolerance is also silver, which is 10%. And we looked at that earlier, 10% is actually 10, move the decimal over twice, so 0 0.1. 0 0.93 times 0 0.1. And that's just going to move that over one more place to be 0 0.093, but we can take a look at that. 0 0.93 times 0.1 is 0 0.093. That's plus or minus, so I can do 0 0.93 uh, plus 0 0.093, 1.23, or I can do 0 0.93 minus 0 0.093, and just out of laziness, I get 0 0.837. Now I know that this is my range. If I double it, I'll get this, but I can go ahead and do it the way we've been talking about 0.1023 minus 0.837 is point um, <clears throat> 1 6, which if you took 0 0.093 times 2, that's what you'd get, right? So it's always just that plus or minus. You just double that to show the interval that you would accept it. It's also the low, upper minus the lower. So um, it's a chance to use percentages in a way 
that maybe you already knew, or maybe you didn't, or maybe nobody does this anymore, but certainly online they talked about it. So I love it. Um, something new for me, which I always think is fun to learn something new. All right, have a great day. I'll see you next time.